Good night. Ooh, very good map pool here. I actually like every map that's here. Ooh, Nighthaven Labs for this one. Okay, okay. This should be a fun one. I haven't played this in a little bit now. We're going to be on attack first, which is obviously way harder because my teammates never know how to attack this map. I swear they don't. I've had like one or two good attacking teams playing this in solo queue, it seemed like. Definitely going for the Ying just so I can play Dokabi here. I might try to switch it up and try some different things here. Usually I always push like basement really fast, getting down below, but I might just push like the main lobby side. Nice, got Mira out. They're probably going to be on Fenry anyways, they always do, so I try to vote Mira. Banning mirror makes it easier to run around in solo queue. Get some more control of things on site. Well, Fenrir's up. That's fine, though. Fenrir is getting nerfed sometime this year, I heard. They announced it in the year 9 reveal, I'm pretty sure. Or it was a leak? Something. Because I heard it from somebody in the comments, actually. I think they're always going to be open now. That's not confirmed for me. That's just what I heard, so... Don't flame me if I'm wrong there, but I think that's what the case is. Anyways, though, let's get into it. Look at that, we got two elite operator things. Thermite and Buck. You guys think I should buy any skins on this account so I can use them for you? I got some Pro League skins the other day, I forgot who, but... Just some weapon skins with my remaining credits. I think I'll just save my Renown for the new op. Because he's not very good in solo queue, Demos. I think I've talked about that before, but let me show you guys a really good pre placed drone up here on um, Night Haven. So we go up here, you can now see the stairs here and the hallway to the other side. It's very good. Very hard to see too because this wall right here. We do have the uh, fin here, not surprising. So yeah, I can basically just move this around and see wherever I want here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to take main lobby and we'll see how that goes with a Dokubi. Try to entry myself. Hoping my team can do some work on, like, the breach and whatever. We'll see. Opening all this for ghost pressure. Just they can't sit in the main lobby safely now. Hello there, Rook. There's two people here, man. That was not a headshot. What is this guy doing? Oh, hello there, another guy? I'm guessing this one just ran. No, he didn't. What in the world am I playing, man? He went to the end of the hallway just to hold a cross on the bottom. Jesus, what interesting aim there, but... Wow, I don't know what I'm playing, man. There are two people holding main lobby that hard. That guy literally moved downstairs just to hold my cross. That's crazy teamwork. Hello? Hey, nice. Good trade on the rook, at least. Yeah, he's literally getting pinged. Oh, he's back. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I actually hit that dock, too, somehow there. In the flick. Hey, good stuff, team. They just ran through him after. That's what happens when you have two guys in your main lobby. On site, it's a 4v3 then. So my team just ran through them there. Held the flanks. Huge attack from the team. It's good when I die and don't really do anything and we still win the round. That is rare in solo queue. Very rare. Usually I have to get an opening for my team to be able to do anything. 
It is a team game for a reason, though. As much as it looks like sometimes, I don't have to do everything myself. This time I'm just going to do my uh, classic entry. Bring in breach charges. I'm going to go through the basement. Up the stairs really fast near vending. Get some fast map control. I do this kind of thing all the time in solo queue. Show you guys the uh, drone spot I always use if you haven't seen before in these. I like using Ash for this too. She's a four speed now with a horizontal grip, which is insane. So I can really take advantage of that and fly in here. And they're going hard for the wall, so I can kind of help my team if I get below here. If I can uh, Ash charge below the wall and get the bandits off. Maybe see the Cade. So they have both for some reason. Heavy wall denial. Somebody's down here, they can just have me, I guess. Man, if I was a little early, I would have killed that dude. He doesn't know I'm down here, though. I can maybe try to get him still. Nice team got the wall. Somebody's downstairs, whoever that was that barricaded that, so... Nice. Not nice. I'm gonna keep a flank jump for the team. Hopefully they watch it, we'll see. Um... That guy's going for like a C4, so I try to kill him. He's got to rotate back up. Where is everybody? Are these guys both behind pillar. Is the bandit going to come back to sight? Oh, I shot his head, man. Just call me slightly confused right now. I don't know what just happened that round. I should have just chilled, I guess. I didn't know Buck had the diffuser. I could have just held the cross there. I don't know what those guys are doing on the other team. I kept thinking Bandit's going to like try to come back to site, but he's just downstairs holding a C4 still. Or something. I don't even really know what he was doing down there. This bandit especially, that's so weird. We are playing like Plat Emerald MMRs still about, as you can see from like the cards, so there are gonna be some weird things. I should have just ran in the site, honestly. They have barricades and everything though. It's okay, this is Night Haven attack, you don't really need these rounds. We got one. We can get this one that's huge. These guys are playing it very differently than I'm used to, though, on this map, so it's kind of catching me off guard a little bit. Same cam here. I'm going to come in main lobby, but obviously um, this time there shouldn't be anybody on the stairs. We'll see, though. Just in case, I have my drone there. Now let's drop it down. Okay, I don't hear anything upstairs. Don't see anything.
My end goal here is just to walk down the back stairs. My team's going like full for sight. I don't think there's any roamers. Try to get back down here before they all die. Man, if only we had diffuser. Okay. Okay. Well, that did not work out very well at all. Man, if I had diffuser right there, I could have planted in that little tuck spot. Thermite could have covered me. In theory, though, that's a good plan. Probably wouldn't have worked because Thermite somehow got swung by a guy in the other breach and died, so... Doubt that would have worked anyways. We're not having the best start here on attack, but hey, it is attack on Nighthaven, like I said. It's all good. Just solo key thing sometimes. You can have the perfect half every single half. We actually have an emerald on our team, so... I think we have a shot here still. These guys have just been bunkering up with the utility ops every time. My team somehow just loses a pick or two. Including me the first round. The first round is definitely on me. We got this on the defense. Bring out the classic dog strap. Nobody's seen this before. Okay, that guy's got those head holes. Make full holes on this wall and then reinforce the right side. I'm going to be playing back here in uh, the aqua area. CC stairs, it says on the compass. Barb that, barricade this. This barricade's up for anybody late. If I hear a barricade break, I know they're coming here. Then I can turn quickly to the barb, and I can play off the barb wire. I don't know if this is the best setup here on the MP5 right here. I have extended barrel and horizontal grip. I heard a drone. Somebody got on it. So yeah, I'm basically playing back here. And if they don't end up pushing me, then I'll make head holes across my whole wall there where I just made a little hole. And I can hold from far back on the uh, site push. Aiming below the door, by the way, in case any drones, if you didn't know. I know that is common sense stuff usually, but... Yeah, I don't think they're pushing back here by me. Did not mean to show you, Scooter Monkey. Hey, that's why I'm docked, though. That's why I like going dock for this. So, like, I'm a far back anchor and I can just stand my team up. Keep juicing them up. Crazy angles back here, too. Look at this breach angle. How do you guys feel about Demo so far? I don't know what they're even taking here. There we go. Easy as that. I literally went over that in the prep phase. I heard the barricade and I knew exactly what this guy was. I was like, wait a second, he's behind me. And you get a freebie and the barb slew him down as well. Did I just make that word up, slew? That barb slew him down. Yeah, I think that's a word for sure. Okay, what do we want to do here? Kind of want to take the vigil for the basement. I do like roaming on this site. It's 50-50. Sometimes it works well and I get a couple kills, but sometimes um, they just overtake site on the breach and kill my entire team and I am done for, basically. Because it's a 1 before retake in like a minute. Let's hope that doesn't happen. We'll see. I like the lineup. We got a Bandit. We got a Mute. Again with the Rook. I don't know what's going on with that. Is Rook like a super high pick rate right, in Platinum and Emerald? Or is that just luck? I 
Hey, this is not terrible, man. He has the ACOG on that gun now. Get some hatches for the team here. Before I start roaming. I hope they kind of just four-man anchor. I do like solo roaming here myself and ranked. I feel like I can take care of myself. I just rather have more people on site so we don't lose it. This is the most important half screen for us. And the last one. My cargo. Okay, let me go up top real fast. I'll show you guys a good impact hole I like making. Usually gets you a free kill. Right here on the window. A lot of people throw like a ram in here or just jump in there to do a vert. They've got no outside cams. That kind of tells me they're going full breach. It's 5v4. Looks like people are on the breach still, so I think we're good. My whole team's like holding the breach. I'm going to make my way back to site. Oh my god. Oh, I got wall banged, man. That was so winnable. I just killed the thermite, and he probably had diffuser. Man, I wish that door wasn't barricaded right there in the back. I also wish I didn't make that small little hole there in the left corner for that thermite to peek me through. I don't know if he wall banged me or not, but if he didn't, then that's unlucky because I was about to throw an impact in the wall to get an angle on the left side, thinking they were in the hall, but. Or I could rotate back because it was barricaded, but there was a buck on a drone there that somehow got in. He must have gotten right away before I even went on the cams. I mean, either way, not much you could do there. That was 5v4 when I rotated back to site. 4v4. Somebody died, so I rotated. By the time I got there, it's just 1v3. 1v4 because I killed buck. Okay, I'm gonna help the team here on site this time. Clearly they don't even push anything else. Um, let's make the rotate for the team. I think it's best on this side. Yeah, I don't know how they all died to the breach there. That was interesting. Out of there. I'm gonna put that there for late. They're not gonna expect that by the time they're downstairs. And it should be good. I'm gonna try to get this hatch at least. Don't have time to get the main one, unfortunately, but they didn't even push it, so I think we're good. Probably won't even matter. My team could get it too. Like, there's four people on site. They can get some hatches as well. What is this? Yeah, they're a little ridiculous here with the barricades as well. Good Malusi right there. I think Bandit is tricked. That's huge. Are you kidding me, dude? Okay, we have this camera up. That's huge. I'm going to keep flicking between that one and the cargo cam. Good night. Yeah, team just needed me down here. Just had to make that adaptation that they need help on the breach. And that nobody was even... Um... Well, now they're going above. I hear them.
Just best to play behind the Malusi there, not peek beforehand. Play off your util, guys. I'd say it all the time, but that's how to get free kills, man. It seems like it's something simple, just play off your utility, but somebody's on the breach. I want to get too crazy here. The staircase. No time. There we go. Good job, team. A lot better hold that time, man. I'm glad we got the OT here. I want to get this win. Can we get defense? Hey, we got defense first. Let's go. See, that's what happens when you get attack first on um, regulation. Usually you get that defense first, it seems like. I think it's random, but I don't even know, to be honest. We're ranked. We're going back upstairs, okay. I think upstairs is way better. We want a first try. No questions asked. So I'm going to try to do the same dock strat. I was saying last run, though, I know it seems simple just playing off your utility. It seems like something that you just do, but I see a lot of people just not even doing that. And it's such free kills, man. Like, just play passive off, like, a piece of barb, an Ella trap, an Elysian goo mine, a Malusi banshee. Wait for it to go off, and it's a free kill. It makes it so much easier for you to win the fight because you know right where they are. I know they had holes on that last time. We're also basement, so um, I'm going to have to make the dock work here, I guess. That's fine. I can just put bar blower. Kind of play it like the Malusi. Um, can't put a Malusi on the breach this time, though. Seems like we would have gone upstairs first, but hey. These guys want to go basement. It's fine. We just won it, so... We get the same hatch again. It's been a fun game so far. Lock in here though, they're probably gonna make adaptations themselves here on this one. Love the lineup again, bandit mute cade. I don't have impacts for that late this time, that's fine. I'm gonna put some barb on the breach. It doesn't work as Malusi, but I think it works still. Like right here. That'll do. I keep forgetting to take the extended off this gun. It'll do the Dokubi. Got a stick drift. Let's hope they don't shoot this cam again. Now it's huge. I got a freebie on Bucks because I seen him coming down on the camera. I gotta show your defaults. Sounds like they're wanting to push over here. Ooh, fried those guys. 5v2, let's go. Hey, easy as that, team. Nice job, Scooter. 
Nice kill cam. I mean, I really did a lot there in that two seconds with the kill cam. I just deleted that first guy. I took that guy's head off, man. I know that guy was like, how did I just die there? I didn't even see him. You already know those comms. Okay, we got to win an attack here. We were struggling on attack earlier. We have momentum now, though. We've won, like, what, three of the last four rounds after being down? I believe in the team. They're going to go basement, I bet. Considering how basement favored this game has been. I don't think anybody's won a basement. Oh, yeah, they won the first basement attack. That's right, but... We've gotten the last two now, and they won theirs. Yeah, I don't think they're up here, to be honest. I'll keep this drone here, because this is how I came in either way. But I think they're downstairs. It is important to identify the site, or at least attempt to early on in the prep phase. When you're solo queue, you can't rely on your team to do it. At least at the worst, hop on their drones. Yeah, like that guy just reinforced that. i seen holes, so we know their basement. Try to do it as well, like identifying the site without losing your drone. I'm trying to prep one like this. Like, I can play off sound in here if they're up there. And this guy's going in. Okay, I'll use him as a drone. I'm stuck. Well, I was going to drone him, but he's just going. He's out of there. Right up. I'm gonna try to cut him off. Nice, that's that dock, man. His only two exits were garage and then my stairway, so... Freebies. Get a default cam. Let's get down there, 5v2. Okay, I just got deleted. Please don't throw this, man. It's 2v2. There's no way. Oh, let's go, Ace. This guy's a diamond charm, okay. My team is actually pretty decent here. My teammates haven't been terrible this season. That got very scary near the end there with that Malusi. That Malusi Banshee almost saved that round for that team. If that wasn't there, I would have killed that guy for sure. I should have just stunned. I just wasn't ready for him to sprint towards that corner. I didn't even know he was in that room when I came down. Because he just shredded my team right as I was walking down as well. I'm just glad we got that round, man. That would have been bad. Little nine for us. Someone on our team at zero. Nice. Also nice that it's still going up one. Up to 109 now instead of 108. Huge. If we keep this winning streak up, it will keep going up one each time. So I'm going to really try my best not to lose a match anytime soon. We're seven and one, I think, now so far. Let me check the advanced stats for you guys before I move on to the next game. Nice. There we go. Three KDs still seven and one. Could not ask for a better start really here. Really could not. I did just get on for this one as well. I am going to play one more before I get off tonight, I think. I didn't play any yesterday, but I did want to get on for one tonight. I felt pretty good still. My aim was on, so it worked out. But let's do one more. Okay, I'm going right for the uh, theme park here. Other team's probably going to ban Emerald Plains. Our team is too, it looks like. Watch, we're going to end up getting theme park now. Hey, we got border, okay. 
We did play this a few games ago now, but that's alright. I haven't played it too much. It's only the second game this season for it. Also, I know some people are going to be saying, like, theme parks not even that bad. Or maybe they do think it's bad. I don't think it's bad either. I actually enjoy playing that map. But for solo queue, it's rough. Because when you're attacking, you just can't do anything. You better just hope your team is stacked. Or you're in some big trouble. It's so hard to attack that solo. Come on, let's ban Yang. Okay, good. I just wanted that Dokubi to stay up, to be honest. You guys know me, I'm a certified Dokubi crutch. Oh, of course, Legion gets banned out of those. I mean, I, I don't mind it, to be honest. I do play Legion sometimes on this map, but oh well. It'll be nice not to have to watch my feet at all times for a Legion mine. I might actually try something crazy since Legion's banned. They banned Fenrir as well, so they don't have any, like, good traps to stop walk-ins. If they don't have Ella or Capcan, then it's GG. I mean, I guess they could have Malusi, but that doesn't really, like, hurt me or anything. Or affect my vision like Ella's. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Ram here and make a play. Let's get the horizontal on that. There's my R4C loadout, if you're wondering. Horizontal grip flash hider. And I like the classic ACOG on everything. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get my drone up in a good spot here in the archives door. And if the barricade's still up late in the round, I might just bash through. Or even early in the round if it's free. I'll just try to look for an opening. Because a lot of the time people don't even worry about it. And if there's no barb or traps or anything or no info, then I could just like go right in sight. We'll see, we'll see. So trying to warm my thumbs, by the way. When I do that little spinny thing, it's like me twirling my stick around. That does not sound right whatsoever. But it's like me just doing circles with a stick around like the edges. Just to warm my thumb up. So far they got nothing here, really. Again, with the Rook pick, they got Doc Rook. I don't know what's going on with that. Is Doc Rook the meta this season? The ACOG twins? Yeah, all they have is that Valcam. Okay, we traded. Hey, I'll take that. I don't know why this guy's shoving his head out of the archives door, but okay. Like, in what world does somebody do that? I just destroyed that dude, by the way. He seen me for like a pixel and I just deleted him. Good shot to him too as well. The double trade one taps. I just was not expecting that, so I'll take the trade. Can't do my plan, unfortunately. I think it would have worked too. They had like no utility on that door. Let's hope the team can come through here and we can get another chance at it next round. I believe in them. I hear one. Nice. Nook heard it too. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice, looks like I got the entry pick. My team cleaned it up. Yeah, this team did not much utility. I hear one Banshee going off somewhere, but... Is that another Diamond Charm, or is that like the... Fake Diamond Charm, I'm not sure. Oh, was that guy downstairs? Okay, I'm going to try the exact same thing again. Let's see if I don't get spawn peaked. Spawn peaked traded, of all things. Because I really think that could work. Like, just ram in that door. Team's going with the exact same lineup, I think, and I don't blame them after that last round. Okay, so they got the frost this time. That doesn't really stop me, though. So I'm fine with that. Just gotta worry about that not to step on it when I'm in sight. 
Now watch, I'm gonna call here, I'm gonna step on that frost mat. Now see, what I'm doing, in reality, is reverse psychology to myself. Now that I'm saying it, it's not gonna happen, because it's gonna be in the back of my brain the entire time. Easy. I got like nothing else here again though. Good night, dude. That was that same dude too, DC expert. That guy's going for every spawn peak he can possibly do. Let me show you guys a super drone on this map. Let's slide it around the top here. This camera's so good, man. I think I can go below that hatch. I'm gonna try it. If he sits there, I have a free kill. I'm gonna pop him below and make him fall. He's gone. Well, it was worth a shot. Keep ADSing on accident. The left trigger is very sensitive. Better be sensitive, I guess, than not. This is my moment here. It's still up. And I got to do it in the window. Let's go. Okay. Pretty sure I seen a laser sight somebody back there. I already killed the one I was in sight, yeah. Man, by the time I got in there, it's just a 4v2 again. Can't even see anybody. At least I've killed this Malusi twice now. <laughs> just ripped her off the spawn both rounds. Hey, she took me with her once, but not gonna happen again after that. That's why you always want to pre-aim by, like, the, um, the tree right there. With the green. Because some people like ripping down that bear cut on east and running out. And they might jump out the right window too. So you want to watch both sides like I did there. Aim head level or free kill? Bring some twitch. I'm guessing they're going to go downstairs now. If they go vent, so I'm going to keep it on the twitch. I do like twitch for that site. A lot of times people bring Goyo and I can pop them all myself with the twitch. Okay, they aren't. Went tellers. They have an Ella and a Cav. What a lineup. Hmm, it's a good time to bring some Yana. I've been getting Yana requested quite a bit, actually, in the comments this season. I don't know what it is about her, but she has a good solo queue up. I got stuns to burn. I got a Dawn 6. For some clear, I got a good gun. I do love the ARX with the ACOG. I mentioned that before on these, but... So good, man. I love that gun. And in theory, I have unlimited droning. There's that camera. pick 5v4. I literally shot that down for ghost pressure. This is open. What is going on here? I'm going to try something crazy. I'm going to crouch under these. Some bullshit. 
Now the interrogation, man, I just seen him. My team just threw that around, man. That was 5v4. I had to play too. I was about to kill whoever that was. What are you doing? Okay, let's reset. This is winnable. This is so winnable. Never mind. This is going to be tough. The is upstairs, too. I have to go on recovery mission for this. One's still in here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to get on metal stairs here. I think it's my only bet. Nobody's on this? There is somebody on it, okay. I just got juked. He was watching me the entire time. I didn't think anybody's on that, because usually in rank they just start swinging you. So I figured since nobody was swinging me, I was good. I was going to try to make the play, and of course there was an L as well, so I have no shot. If I knew he was there, I would have stunned him first, but whatever. Pretty unwinnable situation, I had no time. I think my team just did not drone anything upstairs there and they got interrogated. Unlucky man, I would have had to play. I should have just tried to stick to it even with the wall hacks against me. I seen her the last second when I turned. Um, what do I want to do in D? Let's take the ward and shotgun here. Shield's fine, I'll give the shield to the team. I like going warden on this side just in case they do like a quick smoke play on an archives. It is very common. Even though Ying's banned, they could still try to do it with, like, just smokes. And a Montane or something. Maybe C4 would have been the play, but I, th I should be good. I love the SMG-12. That's kind of my primary here. I'll make a bunch of holes on that. Usually if there's a bunch of holes on that wall, they don't even try anything like that. Like that Montane plant. Nice. Love to see a teammate getting triple wall reinforced. Nice. Good pick. on my window. This might be the best spot in the game right here. No way I get droned. No way that guy armor ripped the hatch. What in the world? That guy was still there in that door the entire round. I heard that guy like a minute ago or more. Okay, let's go vents. I feel more comfortable in vents, I think, but we'll see what happens. Sometimes it's just terrible in rank because they just jump in and plant and nobody's around. I'm going to take the Malusi for upstairs. I'll put two Banshees on site, then I'll leave the other one for 
up top with me to hold my other side because I can't hold both. Surprising there's no drones coming in. Anybody reinforce us? No, they did not. I know the site's below, but it is good to reinforce these walls if he did not know. Just to make it harder for them to push you upstairs. You can play off of them, and they have to worry about that threat too. Guy's gotta be low. Stick drift. He dropped. Of course, there's a buck just sitting over there still, man, and the castle's up. His torch was clearing me upstairs still. I mean, hey, I did my part there. I got one guy, like, super low in health, I'm sure. And then I killed the uh, other guy. Oh, good. My team just kind of all died again. Let's try bathroom tellers, I think. Probably the play. Yeah, here's the fuse. I got him to 1 HP. Holy moly. Okay, yeah, definitely bathroom tellers. That's good. Should I do a fan favor here? I used to do this back in the day when I played Border. It's crazy, I've been doing these videos almost for like a year now, I think. I obviously didn't do as many of them back in the day when I first started, but... Yeah. Let's try this loadout again on cap again. Do I use the vert grip though? I'm gonna try the vert grip again. Last time I used horizontal on a zombie, I think I didn't like it, so I'm gonna try this. See how it goes. I might swap to the extended barrel those again sometime. I need the more heavy hitting kind of gun when it's slow fire right. But anyways, Capkin traps right here right away. It's important you do this right away before a drone sees. And those traps are really hard to see. This time I'm reinforcing this because Buck went right away last time in here. That's what he bucked into. Let's keep this control. More good capkin traps right here for late. They never expect them to be on this door. Those are some um, pro sets of capcam traps for you guys in your games. Always work. You should never reinforce that wall right there. You should always have head holes on it so they can't just jump in the window for free. Hopefully, that doesn't cost us. I don't know what that guy's doing. Might want to use the drone there. Hit that guy there. Someone's hurt.
How many drones have they got on me here, man? What am I hearing? Terrible I am. Okay, I should not have gone for that. That was dumb. I thought that guy was going to full sprint after me since I was full sprinting, but he was not. He was still holding the angle. 3v2 though, come on. I did some work there on the room, man. I shot like 50 drones. Not even exaggerating. Ooh, ace is lit. I just had SEAL Team 6 on me right there. That was insane. Literally at every step I took, it was a drone on me. Every time I repositioned, man. So what you gotta do though, you gotta keep repositioning after you shoot drones. And just watching the angles they could be cutting you off. Oh my god, 50,000 IQ reinforcement. Nice job guys, they got this. Literally unlosable. Yeah, I wasted like all those guys this time there too. All their time, all their drones, and I got two. That few should have killed me if we're being honest. You already seen that guy's aim though, so it was somehow worse than mine there. I potatoed. I was just about to switch my lean and then he peaked, so it was terrible timing, but... Happens. A little carry for us though again. We had a bit of a slow start, just like the first match. Not as slow, but still slow. But we got up there in the end. We just needed the defense. I actually do prefer attacking on this map. Last time we played border, I was going off in the attacks. GG to those guys, though. That was a fun one. Do we get, like, 110 this time? Nice, got a little alpha pack. Oh, still 109. Okay. So maybe it's stalled out now. We'll see. Maybe it'll take one more win for it to go up more, though. Either way, that's bronze two for us. Still some great progress. We're eight and one now. A little eight win right to start the season. Eight game winning streak. Nice, that skin's actually not too bad. I'll clip it. I'll probably use some 417 this season at some point. Yeah, eight and one, 2.8 KD. It's crazy that I actually took a big hit to my KD just having an eight and four match because I died four times. But yeah, those are the advanced stats. My voice is shot after these two matches. I don't know why, but I'm going to call it there, guys. I hope you did learn something and did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like down there below. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.